to myself, maybe I should listen to some music while I'm doing my stretchy workout. It usually takes an hour and by the end, I'm kind of bored. I'm thinking maybe I should listen to something I haven't listened to before. I turn on Taylor Swift's Evermore because I listened to Folklore and I really liked it, but I haven't listened to Evermore. Um, yeah, don't do that. I had to stop at the end of the second song because I was crying my eyes out. So I just had a nice morning cry. I'm about to film a little skincare video. I don't know when it's gonna be up in relation to this video, so either look for it or subscribe. I'm about to curl my hair because I washed it last night and now it's a little fluffy. There's no better feeling than clean hair. All I've done this morning, my stretching and I drank my tea. And this morning I made black tea and I added this oats and seeds thing that I got yesterday. It was pretty good. I just filmed the skincare routine. Subscribe. My hair is a little too bouncy for my taste to be honest. I really prefer curls on day two after they've had some time to flatten and they look a little little less, you know, <laughs> like I just tried to curl my hair. Now I'm ready to eat breakfast. I got cinnamon at Trader Joe's so I can make French toast. Let's go. I looked up the Food Network recipe and it's a little complicated. I'm just gonna use eggs, cinnamon, some oat milk. I don't have sugar and butter. I know you're supposed to use fluffy bread, but I have sourdough bread, probably nearly stale. <laughs> Look at this concoction. <laughs> I feel like it might be going better than I think it is. Oh my God, I just flipped it and look. It looks like French toast. Bro. I think I just made French toast. Does that not look like the Frenchiest toast? Ooh, it feels like French toast, cutting into it. I do not have syrup, so this just has butter on it. It's pretty good. I never knew French toast was this easy. I almost wish I had syrup, but honestly, I don't mind it without it. I really don't like having sweet stuff for breakfast. I also have a veggie sausage. I'm so proud of myself. Remember when I said I was trying not to dress basic? Yeah, well, I, I did today. I do look cute. I know this. I just look a little basic. I'm gonna go thrifting, but this is the thrifting outfit. This shirt is from Zara. I thrifted this. Same old, same old skirt from yesterday that I thrifted. This necklace I got in france these earrings some friends got me in college i think they got them in california got my red watch i didn't wear rings because i'm gonna be sifting through clothing the usual ray-bans and my sorry if that was too much tote i know i look good i just look basic i don't want to look like a normie california blonde i'm gonna go find a scooter scoot on over to the shopping i think i'm not gonna bring my camera because it needs a screw and i'm afraid so i'm gonna vlog on my phone Let's go! And the shoes, Kermit the Frog, Stan Smith's. Hell yeah. Made it to Abbott Kinney. I always think of my BFF Lauren Abbott. There's a lot of shopping. Hoka's here, Madewell, Everlane. I'm just gonna walk down the street because it's a nice walk, but the vintage stores are further. But it's a beautiful day. Abbott! Am I in Portland? Just walked by Tachi Ringsby on the street and my heart dropped into my stomach and my I freaked the fuck out. I didn't say anything, obviously. I just did a double take and then I was like, and then I went into a vintage store called Adorned. It was very cute, but very out of my price range. I'm walking to thriftier thrift stores rather than the vintage stores. Second Street was a slide. Some great stuff, only spent 20 bucks. The people working there were awesome. Had a good chat with them. Everyone in there was so cool and fashionable. Just went to St. Matthew's where the lady said, I see you're buying PJs. We'll see. The bag is almost full. I think I'm gonna just go till it's full. I've only spent $30. I've gotten six things. <sighs> I'm so glad to be back in West Coast thrifting and not New York thrifting because New York thrifting is not thrifting. It's like vintage shopping, which is cool if you have all kinds of money to spend on clothes. On Google Maps, it says there's a Buffalo Exchange up here. So I'm gonna hit that and then probably jet back. And I think I'm gonna stop by Air One on the way. Full bag, full bag. And we are headed to find another scooter. I'm gonna go get a little quirky juice at Air One and then go back to have lunch and give you a haul. Come home with quite the haul. I stopped at Air One and got the most 
stupidly expensive things in the world. You know what? I'm gonna manifest that someday grocery shopping there doesn't break the bank. I spent $17 on two items. For one, this mango is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. I highly recommend it. I don't know, this is the smallest container you can get it in and it's $7.66, but it's like candy. And then last week I tried the lavender lemonade, but today I got the pink lemonade. Got all kinds of good stuff. Stuff in it, I guess. Organic Camu Camu Poku 10 Concentrate 72 Ionic Trace Minerals. What does that mean? I guess that's why it's eight dollars, and this is one of the cheaper ones. There were smoothies that were like twenty three dollars. You kidding me? The lavender one was good. Let's try the pink one. Mmm, yummy. I like it because it's not really sugary, and it's so cute. Last week, I got one of these jars and I was like, I'm so excited to have this little bottle. You can return it to get your bottle deposit back, but I like it, so I'm probably gonna keep at least one. I had it in my same bag and it was kind of like balancing on the top like this. And I set the bag on here like this and the bottle rolled out and shattered on the ground. Not gonna happen today. Let's go do a haul. I came into the bedroom, the bedroom to try some things on for you. Yay! Okay! So the first place I went was 2nd Street. I'm pretty sure this checker dress was $5. Plain white mock turtleneck tank top. I thought it was a good basic. It was also 5 bucks. It's really soft. It's the brand Stateside. The checker dress is BDG. Next I got this little tank top with a tie in the front. I don't own anything like this. It's from the brand Audrey. And then finally at 2nd Street, silky kind of wrappish dress. It's from Zara and it was $10. So I only spent 20 bucks there for all four of those things. Next I went to St. Matthew's. So gonna, I'll put the name on the screen and I just got this Santa Monica surf shirt. I'm kind of staying near Santa Monica. I thought it was a fun thing to memorialize my time here. And then I got these cozy little sweatpants. I'm literally obsessed with them. They have no brand but they're really thick, super cozy. This was the one where the lady said, oh, you're buying PJs, I see. Those two things combined were only $11. And then I went to Buffalo Exchange, which is where things are a little pricier. I got this cute top for $13 the brand almost famous and then i bought this was half off i'm kind of obsessed i just bought it for the blazer so it's technically a two-piece suit i think the skirt is gonna be too long on me i didn't try it on but this blazer i just thought was literally the most precious thing i've been wanting a blazer for a while this just looks cool and the brand is imagine the set itself was $26 but it was half off so it was $13. I'm gonna go charge my camera to film the try on portion.